Late last month, Ford Performance said it planned to conquer America's mountain, and in doing so, advance electric powertrain R&D. Skeptics and critics question the company's attempt at the 102nd running of Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in Colorado's Rocky Mountains with its new F-150 Lightning Electric Super Truck. The team prepares all year to get only one run, one shot, one chance at the unpredictable race. Not only did the demonstrator complete the harrowing 12.5 mile uphill trek, but it won the whole thing. And it sounded incredible. Mm. Mm. The electric vehicle demonstrator ran among a field of 61 competitors and with a time of 8.53.553, it vanquished all foes, despite some hiccups along the way. For example, driver Romain Dumas ran into a technical issue during the climb that caused the super truck to come to a complete stop on the course, adding about 26 seconds compared to his initial qualifying time. To continue his ascent, the driver had to completely reset the 1600 horsepower F-150 Lightning super truck. Overall, the feat posed a challenge for Ford's aerodynamicists, powertrain specialists, and engineers who had to focus on keeping the vehicle's weight down while maximizing downforce. The super truck is a testament to collaborative design. For example, auto racing team Stard played a crucial role in the creation of the 1600 horsepower truck. Super truck also had top of the line Sparco racing harnesses and safety equipment and bespoke Pirelli P0 tires. Before the event, the super truck set a new qualifying record for the open class with a time of 332.831, besting the previous record by more than seven seconds. That record was set last year by none other than Ford Performance and the team's Supervan 4.2. I'm David Manti, this is Manufacturing Now.